Hi everyone, it's Evangeline here at eTrailer and today we'll be taking a look at the Rocky Mounts Monorail 2 bike platform rack right here on our 2021 Ford F-150. The Rocky Mounts Monorail is an awesome all-around bike rack. You have a really good weight capacity for electric bikes, you've got a good wheelbase for your mountain bikes, you've got a good tire width capacity for your fat tire bikes, and you can do things like tilt away, lock your bikes, things like that. We will talk about those features, but we're going to focus on our 2021 Ford F-150. That way you can see how it works with the truck and then get the best fit for you, your different types of bikes, and your vehicle. So you can tilt this bike rack away, but spoiler alert, you can't lower the tailgate even with it tilted away with the bike on. I'll show you how to do it though. We have this big blue lever here. You're going to pull that lever and just let that bike rack drop down. And from here, you get a little bit more access into your truck bike bed because you can kind of open up your tailgate. Now, what types of bikes can you carry with this bike rack? Well, as I mentioned earlier, if you have your heavy electric bikes up to 60 pounds, your fat tire bikes of up to five inches, or even your carbon fiber frame bikes, you can carry them, especially with this front wheel mount. So you don't have any frame contact, so that carbon fiber or those step through bikes or those women bikes are perfectly fine. You don't need to get a frame adapter bar. Now, if you want to take your bike off, you actually start at the rear wheel strap. You press that lever and that disengages the strap, allowing you to lift this up and out of the way. I like to fold it over to the side so it doesn't get caught up in my spokes. As I go over to the front of the bike, hold on to the frame with one hand, press this lever or this button with the other, lift up on the hook, push that out, and now I'm ready to grab my bike and go. If you have those extra heavy electric bikes though, notice how high you are gonna have to lift your bike off of the bike rack. If that's gonna be a major issue for you, you may wanna consider a bike rack that has a ramp, like the Yakima on-ramp instead. With the bike off, we get to take a closer look at the rack itself. Here in the back, we have that rear cradle. Notice how it tilts back and forth for those different wheelbases. In fact, the maximum wheelbase you can carry with this is up to 48 inches. And then you have that strap which goes around. You also have those grooves on the inside of the cradle. You can see it on the front too. And those are gonna be for your different tire widths. So whether you have the really thin road bike tires or the really wide fat bike tires, this can carry tire widths of up to five inches and this folds down to be all nice and neat. I talked about how having that front wheel mount makes it easier for you to carry those frames of different shapes and sizes, but this can also fold down to be a bit more compact. What I actually like to do is just tuck it here behind our rear cradle. If you want to, you can actually add on to this bike rack to carry more bikes than two. That's going to be something you're going to have to plan ahead for though because it's a little bit of an install. On its own though, this is going to be the two bike bike rack and it has a length from the bumper of your F-150 to the end of the rack, 34 inches. Now while that could be a measurement to keep in mind if you're backing into your garage or trying to park into a tight spot, you already have a big truck taking up space, so it doesn't make that much of a difference. But if you have a small garage, it could still be a measurement you'll want to know. Now let's talk about ground clearance. So ground clearance is usually measured at the end of the rack, which is 26 and a half inches to the ground. Compare that to the shank, so that's 18 inches, and you have the shank rise, so it sits higher up off the ground. So I talked about how you can still kind of open up your tailgate or I guess lower your tailgate with this bike rack, but I'll show you where it makes contact. So when this comes down, take a look right where those cradles are. It comes down most of the way, but then it almost makes contact right over there. So you are able to open up your tailgate to grab something from your truck bed, but I do not recommend resting your tailgate on a bike rack. Now, what if you're not planning on going out for a bike ride just yet, but you also don't want to take your bike rack off? What you can do is you can actually fold this up into the portable position. You pull that lever and then you lift up on the rack and then it snaps into place against your truck. Taking some measurements here, the closest point is going to be from the bumper to that front wheel mount and that's three inches away. 
The length now added to the back of our truck is from the bumper to the end of the rack, 14 inches. It's a big difference compared to when this is folded down. You'll want it in this position when you're just planning on driving around town and you don't want to take up more space than you already are. But what is it like living with a bike rack behind you all the time? Well, with this folded up like this, you don't really cover much. You still have full visibility out of your rear view window. Even your backup camera is still fully visible. Your taillights are visible. You do cover your license plate though. If that's gonna be a huge issue for you, pretty much any hitch mounted bike rack is gonna do that. So this has a two inch shank, which fits into your two inch hitch receiver. You have an anti-rattle bolt and you have a lock. You also have a lock up here which is gonna be for your cable lock, and those two are key to like. For the anti rattle bolt, I use a three quarter inch socket or wrench to tighten that down. And you wanna make sure it's tightened down because as you try to simulate that road movement and vibration, as I shake the bike rack, I'm really just shaking the truck at this point because that connection is nice and secure. Here on our test course, we'll start by going through the slalom. This is going to show us the side-to-side -side action, which simulates turning corners or evasive maneuvers. Once we get to the alternating speed bumps, we'll see the twisting action. This will simulate hitting a curb or a pothole or driving over uneven pavement. Now lastly, we're going over some full speed bumps. And we can see here the up and down action and this will just be like driving in and out of a parking lot, garage, or driveway. So my personal thoughts about the Rocky Mounts monorail is again, it's a great all around bike rack. I'm just kind of bummed that we weren't able to completely lower our tailgate. That was something that I've seen done on the Kuat Sherpa, which is a similar bike rack with not as much weight capacity though. If you are looking for a bike rack that is similar to this, but you can add a ramp, that would be the Kuat NV. That has even more premium features than the Rocky Mounts monorail and has a smoother motion. I also mentioned the Yakima on-ramp as another option with a ramp. But other than that, if you have those heavy bikes, those carbon fiber bikes, or even those fat bikes, it's really nice to see that they can all fit on the Rocky Mounts monorail and you can use this with your other vehicles too. So this was a look at the Rocky Mounts monorail two bike platform rack on the 2021 Ford F-150.